Hello my stars and galaxies, welcome back to my channel, The Universe Tarot. Today we are doing a collective reading, but before we get started, make sure you guys like, comment, share, 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 subscribe, 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 and hit that post notification bell so you don't miss an upload for when I upload. Now without further ado, let's get started. As usual, we're going to draw five cards. Okay. Now, our first card says, you didn't imagine it. Okay. So I see for some of you, some of you were in a situation where you're pretty skeptical about something. Someone is kind of trying to put thoughts in your head, like you saw something, but you're not exactly sure about the whole story. So when you confront that person about it, they're just like, oh... You know, maybe you just saw it out of context or heard it out of context. But whatever the case may be, you didn't imagine it, okay? Your mind does not lie, okay? Your eyes don't lie. I love myself enough to walk away. So I see for some of you that there's a situation that's getting really intense, really heated, in a negative way that can lead to actual physical harm, right? So... Whether or not it concerns you, it's getting to the point where it's there's violence and knives and guns being thrown. So it's you love yourself enough to walk away. All right. I've been here before with others. Okay. So I see for some of you, you may have PTSD. Like you might have been in a situation similar like this before and you're not trying to get involved in that again. Maybe you lost a loved one to gun violence or something like that, right? You may probably lost your lost someone you care about, maybe like a family member or a friend, you know, or a partner. You lost them to violence and so you suffer from some kind of PTSD, right? Or some like tra a traumatic, like you, it still gives you trauma to this day. As old as you are, you still have trauma about that event. I couldn't tell you face to face. So I see some, so I see for some of you that someone had a secret to tell you, right? They wanted to reveal the truth to you, but they could not, all right? Either they couldn't find the right time to do it or they just couldn't find the courage to do it, okay? I see that it just, they didn't feel like it would be the right time or the appropriate time. They didn't feel like you would be able to handle it in a mature way so they just couldn't tell you face to face they would be scared of your reaction I am different now okay so you're telling that person that you're no longer a scared little kid right with those big eyes full of hope and wonder you're no longer naive to the world around you you're more aware you're more self-conscious about what's going on you're more it's, you're more self-aware of what you're doing, what's going on around you, and you're more, and you're more likely to take action. You're more capable of taking action, right? We're going to draw five more cards. Next card says, I've been struggling. Okay. So now that's, that secret has been revealed to you, right? That secret has been revealed to you, whether it's somebody lied to you or you find out maybe in your, maybe it's a major plot twist, right? So it's very, it's very, very much like, like shook up your mental, right? Shook up your way of thinking. So you're kind of at a loss right now. You're kind of lost. You're not really sure what to do. You're just not sure how to handle the situation you don't know how to go to about how to go about it you know you feel like you're up against the walls by yourself you know so you've been really mentally and emotionally struggling 
I took the easy way out, right? So someone you know, right? Someone you know or works close to you, they actually committed suicide, right? They committed suicide. They, they could not handle the pressure. They couldn't handle the anger, the conflict, the depression, the sadness, the sorrow, the grief. The energy was just so heavy on them and in their household, right? It was just so difficult for them. So they took the easy way out, right? And ended their own life because they could not handle the pressure of everyday life anymore. I wish you could come back. You miss this person, obviously. Friend, family, partner, whoever it was, that you miss them. Like you regret you regret that you couldn't do more. You wish you could do, could have done more. And maybe if you had done more, that person would still be alive today to be next to you, right? But you can't. All you can do is wish that they could come back. Just magically come back from the dead, okay? You, you know, but no one is ever truly gone. As long as you remember them, as long as you keep them in your mind and heart, they're never truly gone, okay? They're just no longer of the physical world. I pretend you don't mean much, okay? So I see for some of you, while you did miss that person, while you do miss this person now, at the time while they were alive, you didn't really show that much appreciation to them when they were, okay? So like you pretended that, you know, they're just supposed to be there, that you, they, like, you treated them like they were kind of more like your enemy or your rival, or you didn't really appreciate the things that they did for you, right? Like, and you um, would always, like, bicker with them. You wouldn't really try to resolve anything. You would just leave things unsaid, undone. So you pretended that they didn't mean all that much to you, right? Because you, slight, you have a slight fear of letting people get too close, right? That is your coping mechanism of keeping yourself safe. I fantasize about you. So you fantasize about this person being here, you know, just being alive. Just what well, do you just wake up one morning and they're right there. You wake up and then you hear a knock on your door and you open the door. It's them. You, you fantasize about them being alive. You fantasize about them smiling at you. You guys hugging it out, you know, talking, crying, you know, telling each other how you really feel. Like, that's you fantasizing about them, because that's how much you miss them. Your mind is on them. Now we're going to draw our last five cards. I do wish you well. All right. So someone you know has come to you and to to send, send their condolences for your loss, right? You know, they notice how you miss that person very much. That that person that no longer with us, you miss them very much. So the so someone that you know is acknowledging that you miss them and they said I hope you are well. I hope you're doing well. I hope you handle this well. I hope that you won't do the same thing the person you cared about did take their own life, right? I hope you will actually take this and use it to make yourself stronger, okay? I'm waiting for an apology, okay? So someone did something to hurt you so, and it really messed you up. Or someone did something to hurt you and it left you with a little bit of an anger, like a spark of anger in your heart. You never really forgave that person for hurting you, okay? Maybe they hurt your friend or your family or your partner you know, and that, and that never, and you never got an apology from that person. So to this day, while they're still walking around, like nothing happened, you're waiting for an apology. We are not right for each other. Okay. So I see for some of you that there's a new person coming into your life. They want to take a shot at being your partner. Okay. They want to take a shot at being 
your companion, your romantic companion. But right now, you feel like right now is not the best time. You're just going through a lot. You feel like you have a lot of baggage right now. You feel like you have a lot going on emotionally, especially mentally. You feel like you won't, you wouldn't even have a lot of time to put in, to invest in a relationship right now. So you don't even think right now is the best time for any kind of romance in your life. I don't know what to say. Right now, you kind of feel like you're at a loss for words. You're not really sure what to do anymore. You just feel drained at this point. You don't want, you don't know what to do. You don't know what to say to anyone right now. You just feel like you just want to be left alone and to just go get away for a little bit and just clear your own head, okay? Because right now, it's just a lot to deal with. And our last card says, I'm sorry. So the person you've been waiting an apology from has finally taken a stand to apologize, okay? They finally opened their mouth and said, I'm sorry, okay? It might have taken a while, might have taken a week, a month, a year, but either, regardless of how long it took and how they did it, they genuinely looked you in the eye and said that they're sorry. Whatever they did, they're genuinely sorry for it because you deserve better, okay? And hopefully you will find some kind of resolve in this apology. Hopefully you will forgive so you can start living your life the way you want and without hatred and anger. All right? This was a nice this was actually a nice reading y'all, but unfortunately this is all the time we have for right now. If this did not resonate with you, I apologize. Hopefully the next one will. But in the meantime, make sure you guys like, comment, share, 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 subscribe, 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 and hit that post notification bell so you don't miss an upload from when I upload. This has been the Universe Tarot. Namaste.